yeah, it's uh, not proving very easy this vacation. I went on a holiday with my wife. We booked two apartments in the middle of nowhere, both in a super dark board of three location. And Spain has clear skies all the time. Should be a walk in the park, right? <laughs> Good evening there and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are in Spain today, Andalusia, Spain. Uh, we are on a holiday, me and my wife, and uh, it's not an astrophotography trip, but uh, you know me, I'm going to try. <laughs> so let's go. This trip is not going to be easy though. Uh, we are staying at two locations here in Spain for about 10 days. And uh, this first location is a, a pretty good Bortol 4 and we are looking uh, south over sea. So I expect some pretty dark skies. Um, yeah, but I think this trip can be, um, yeah, can have the potential to be a bit hide and seek because uh, yeah, there is a uh, sort of storm front has just passed over Spain, which is called a Dana front, and it brings uh, colder temperatures, which is fine by me, but also more clouds. So uh, yeah, I think uh, we are going to have a lot of clouds uh, looking to the forecast. But uh, yeah, today is the first day, and um, there is supposed to roll some mists or some high clouds in from the sea, uh, particularly when astro darkness kicks in, but yeah, it's still pretty clear, so I'm going to try. Um, I think you can see there, there's a uh, mountain top and that path over the mountain top leads exactly into the core of the Milky Way. So yeah, hopefully that the clouds uh, will not come rolling in too fast and uh, we're gonna check if we can uh, get some nice compositions there. So let's go uh, to the location. So we are uh, only about five minutes walk from, uh, from our apartment. I'm uh, trying to shoot uh, the Milky Way maybe on 50 millimeters on that mountain top uh, on my right for you. Um, yeah, I'm not walking there the entire way because I can see that the clouds are forming over sea and they come really fast this way, so exactly as forecasted. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, set up the tracker here and uh, see how it goes. Maybe because it gets really dark fast here, we can uh, grab one or two track shots here uh, before the clouds are over. So uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Almost extra dark now. I think uh, yeah, only 20, 25 minutes left. Uh, some Milky Way <laughs> is showing up actually uh, on the screen, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a very tight one. This. <laughs> So while I'm waiting and uh, yeah, the Milky Way is popping out actually, especially above my head, but while I'm waiting for the core, um, if I look behind me, uh, you can see Cassiopeia there maybe. Um, yeah, um, maybe we can shoot the north side again, you know? It's pretty clear up north and um, who knows? And just trying to be, uh, to think a bit out of the box here. <laughs> Maybe even with this super simple composition with only a path leading into the north side, into, into Cassiopeia. Some astrophotography is better than no astrophotography at all. <laughs> So I'm uh, sorry it's a bit quiet on the vlog side. It remains clear. Um, wow, uh, there is a lot of haze in the sky which yeah, sort of reflects the light, po light pollution which is in the, in the uh, valley. But uh, yeah, if you look a little bit up, uh, yeah, we see the Milky Way beautifully. Um, I have decided uh, to try something new spontaneously. I have uh, tried a, a 50 millimeter uh, mosaic of the Milky Way. So I'm doing... Um, four panels of uh, horizontal and uh, then to the left also four panels so eight shots tracked only single shots tracked 
And uh, yeah, let's see how that comes out. I'm now uh, putting on the uh, Sigma 14 to 24 to uh, yeah, back some uh, shots, some track shots of the Milky Way just as a backup. And uh, if it remains clear enough, I will also shoot the north side here. So, yes. <laughs> Okay, so that turned out way better than expected. I ended up making three rows of four single tracked horizontal shots at 50mm f4 and 30 seconds at ISO 1600. I stitched it in PT GUI. The foreground shot was a separate row of vertical exposures. Although the sky conditions were quite bad with all the haze in the sky, I am surprised by the amount of detail and resolution in the final result. I might do this more often. So, I think it's finally over tonight. Uh, the clouds have uh, definitely rolled in now. Uh, so what I uh, have been up to, uh, I've uh, let the stack of uh, 24 millimeters uh, of the uh, uh, Milky Way core run. And it looked pretty good, but yeah, in the second shot the clouds already came rolling in. So maybe I'll use that as a single track shot or maybe as a backup shot. Uh, maybe you can see behind me also, uh, there are uh, our apartments we are staying in at the moment and I noticed that uh, this path uh, makes a sort of a yeah, nice leading line into uh, those uh, yeah, lighted apartments with the Cassiopeia region of the Milky Way above it so uh, with this camera I have um, yeah, made a super simple uh, also a, a panorama a vertorama uh, on f2 uh, 20 seconds uh, ISO 2500 I think and uh, yeah just four or five panels uh, just for fun so uh, yeah I think uh, I'll call it a night now uh, hopefully uh, the coming 10 or 9 days now um, uh, I uh, will have some more chances for astrophotography but uh, yeah I think uh, after two hours of sleep and a very long travel day I'm pretty tired so I'm also hoping that the video quality will improve because I haven't vlogged a lot but uh, yeah hopefully See you uh, tomorrow or maybe somewhere in the next two days, three days, maybe. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So this turned out to be a nice bonus shot despite the clouds in it. I'm glad I captured it because the coming days would be quite challenging on the astro side. Alright, so it's uh, day number four now of our vacation and I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> However, it's been cloudy uh, here up in the mountains uh, for most of the time on night one. Uh, I was able to shoot some Milky Way but there was a lot of haze in the sky. So yeah, the light pollution of the city is really reflected. Um, I got some Milky Way though, so yeah. Those will be pretty nice, but not the best uh, actually on night two. Um, it was kind of the same, but a bit more cloudy. So I uh, tried to uh, improve on my shots on the first night. I'm not sure uh, if I did, but um, yeah, the last two nights have been uh, like this. So uh, <laughs> I have maybe an option to drive down to the coast, but to be honest, it's not really easy to get here, uh, which is of course um, yeah, one, of, one of the trade-offs if you want to uh, spend your vacation in uh, the middle of nowhere. We have to drive through a dry riverbed, um, which I am pretty comfortable now doing with our Nissan Micra rental car after about four or five times. But at night, I'm not totally sure. So um, yeah, I hope uh, I'll have some more chances here and otherwise we'll just uh, yeah, drive uh, more inland uh, in a couple of days and uh, the weather looks a bit better there. But uh, for now, no good for Astro. <laughs> So it's uh, day number six now and uh, while we are getting some beautiful skies uh, during the day here, uh, yeah, somehow when uh, evening sets in we just get clouds rolling up the hill, uh, very moody atmosphere, <laughs> actually pretty cool, but no good for Astro still. So uh, yeah, we will uh, maybe get some clearer skies tomorrow and otherwise we will, uh, yeah, we will uh, uh, head more inland and uh, the weather forecast looks better there, but uh, yeah, from here, today, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> it's day number six, and then we've had clear blue skies the entire day, and now it's almost evening. Yeah. So after a week of mostly cloudy nights, we headed inland to our second location in Spain. Well, 
Good evening again. It's uh, night number seven now of our vacation in Spain. And uh, you're not going to believe it. Uh, it is clear. We are not at the same place anymore. We are at the second location of our vacation. We are in the Extremadura region near Monasterio. And uh, yeah, I'm actually uh, crawled down um, just a little bit beyond, uh, below the pool. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we have some rocks here and um, yeah, I think I'm only going to make some um, sky exposure, some tracked sky exposure because I haven't had time uh, to do a proper foreground scout here, but I'm sure I will find some good foregrounds here tomorrow or the coming day. So uh, for now, I'm going to set up and um, finally, hopefully I'm going to enjoy a clear night. One little thing that worries me a bit, by the way. Um, we've had to uh, get a scorpion out of our room already. So I'm standing here in the dark. Uh, so I'm not standing here very relaxed, but I'll keep an eye out for scorpions. I haven't been bitten yet. <laughs> Standing here, by the way, in a uh, Bortle 3 region, and uh, maybe looking into a bit of uh, Bortle 4, about uh, 100 kilometers that way, where the Milky Way is, um, where the Milky Way is down south. There's uh, the city of uh, Sevilla, but uh, yeah, it still looks uh, super dark. I can see the Milky Way above me. Um, really nice details, great rift uh, with my own eyes. Uh, what's also nice because we are pretty much south compared to where I live at 52 degrees north. Uh, Ro of Yuki is still out, so uh, I love Ro. So it's uh, really cool uh, that I can uh, still shoot Ro one more time this season. So yeah, everything's going well and um, stack's almost done I think and uh, maybe I'll make some uh, other variations and uh, then I think I call it a night because we had a pretty uh, rough uh, travel day to the, today. Scorpions in our room and uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll look for some uh, cool foregrounds which uh, suit the south facing Milky Way. Normally I like to uh, shoot uh, the sky shots at the same location most of the time, but yeah, in this case I'll uh, forgive myself and uh, take some creative freedom. I was relieved I was finally able to shoot some stars again after a whole week. But the job was only half done. I still needed some foregrounds that would realistically match the Milky Way position. Good afternoon. We are now on the next day. After uh, my successful Milky Way shoot uh, below the pool. We are uh, at the highest point in the region. It's only 15 minutes drive from our hotel. It's the, uh, there's a monastery here. We are at uh, 1100 meters. We have uh, beautiful views. Um, there might be two challenges. Uh, as you maybe can see there, uh, there are some ugly yellow fences. Uh, it looks like they had a big festival here recently. Um, but I think I found a composition where I can shoot uh, the Milky Way, which um, should be right on top of there uh, where I can uh, dodge the fences and otherwise we'll have to do a bit of uh, Photoshop work. Um, the only thing, there are seem to be uh, some lights on the building so I'm hoping they remain off because the, en the energy prices are so high and they're cheapskates here, I don't know, <laughs> but I really hope so. But uh, yeah, if the lights remain out, it could be really good. It's, uh, it's these lights there. <laughs> So yeah, let's uh, explore this region a bit and uh, maybe we can even uh, make some more and better sky shots because we have a beautiful view over the valleys here. I definitely wanted to come back to the monastery on a clear night. Besides old buildings, the Extremadura region is known for the large amounts of beautiful cork oak trees. I spent the rest of the afternoon scouting for a nice example which was separated enough from the rest to make a nice clean composition. That actually proved pretty challenging. So we were uh, just uh, sitting by the pool, having a drink or two. And uh, yeah, you know, after half an hour I've seen that. So I've um, decided to uh, take a walk in the, uh, yeah, around the trees here. And uh, it kind of reminds me of Fanal Forest in Madeira, uh, only that the trees here are closer to each other. But uh, yeah, especially um, this tree here, I think this one has some real good potential. 
So maybe um, we can shoot the Milky Way here. I don't believe it. The composition doesn't work. <laughs> And that's because I miscalculated uh, the lights uh, which are on the, uh, on the gravel road uh, on the way to the hotel. It just doesn't look really nice. Um, yeah, I tried to find some other compositions uh, for about half an hour and I don't think it's going to happen tonight. And now I'm going to pack because I'm getting surrounded by deer. I think it's deer. At least their eyes are uh, glowing if I shine to them. So uh, yeah, it's... Uh, not proving very easy this vacation, but uh, <laughs> trying not to complain because I'm yeah I'm out under the stars, beautiful, but uh, still no uh, shot complete uh, here. So maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. On my stroll back to the hotel, I began to feel really disappointed by my astrophotography on this trip so far. We deliberately planned this vacation around new moon to dark skies, and there were only a few nights left. But I wasn't ready to give up. Tired but in full force battle mode, I pulled myself together and hopped in the car on my way to the monastery. Okay, so after my uh, yeah, kind of failed attempt to shoot the trees, I was maybe a little bit frustrated that it failed again. It's not the first time this uh, vacation that it just doesn't work out totally. But uh, I decided um, to just uh, go in the car and uh, go to this monastery. And as you can see, fortunately, uh, the spotlights are not on on this monastery, which is beautiful. We are here on a mountain uh, uh, all, um, over one kilometer high. And yeah, it's a long time ago I've seen the Milky Way so clear so i am really happy now it's a bit cold i haven't brought my jacket or something <laughs> i just didn't think of it i'm talking a bit quiet because there's a, a, a camper van out here i have to say they uh, really chose the best spot here so um yeah i think there are multiple compositions possible but um yeah the most obvious one is the one i'm going to shoot just um yeah, at a sort of 45 degrees angle in front of the monastery and yeah, the Milky Way comes out uh, yeah, right of the monastery. Um, I'm also making a composition where I can put the Milky Way a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left and at home I'll see what uh, works the best. But uh, yes, this is, a, this is a very good night. So uh, I think the shot will turn out pretty well. Yes, it's these kind of shots that really excite me. But before I leave you with the final result from this night, allow me to reveal that the best astro adventure of this trip happened on the very last day. But that is a story for my next video. For now, I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.